Hey YouTube, happy Saturday night. Hopefully you're doing well. Just wanted to come on and do a, I'm gonna do a cigar review and a whiskey review all rolled into one. I've never had either one of these. So I was able to find a box of these today. Very fortunate. LFD and Delusion Bull. The number one cigar of 2016, I believe. It's a six and a half by 64. It is like a baseball bat. So we're gonna have some fun with that. And we're going to pair that with another whiskey I found from Old Forester, one of their Whiskey Row series, the 1920. And this bad boy comes in at 115 proof. So uh, I've heard great things. It's prohibition style Old Forester 1920. I have the 1910, really like it, and I was able to get the 1897 today. So now uh, I think there's one that I'm missing to complete the four bottle series. but. Um, Anyhow, let's get this cut up, toasted, and uh, lit up, and let's let's pour a dram, and let's come back and talk about what it's like, what they're tasting like. Come back and share. Be right back, everybody. All right, everybody, we're back. We got this bad boy lit, big old cigar boy. Um, <clears throat> so let's pour a dram, and we'll talk about the Andalusian bull. Mm. Well, we're not sound. So the Andalusian bull, Number uh, one cigar, Cigar Aficionado 2016. Lito Gomez is the, the man um, credited with this. Pays tributes to his Spanish roots with his recent release. Uh, Andalusian Bull recipient of a, was a recipient of an outstanding 96 point rating and Cigar Aficionado's coveted number one cigar of the year for 2016. The blend has captured a remarkable audience, handmade in the Dominican Republic. Andalusian Bull combines hand-selected Ecuador Corojo wrappers with medium to full-bodied amalgam of proprietary Dominican long filler tobaccos. Exceptional flavors of caramel, pepper, and leather meld with approachable balance. Rich transitions of flavor with a pleasant room note lead to a resplendent finish. Add the small batch LaFleur Dominica Andalusian Bull to your cigar collection today. So, I tell you, off the rip, it's got a nice sweet note. A little bit of the pepper I can get, and maybe a little bit of, you know, I, I, I don't know if it's caramel or if it's just sweetness, but it, I guess it has a caramel, caramel, the caramel essence however you say caramely as I don't know if that's correct or not but you know what I'm saying <laughs> I was trying not to laugh <laughs> I was taking a puff and it didn't work oh well anyhow I find it to be uh, you know just just starting out it's pretty pretty uh, medium mild to medium it's not really a, a, a head blaster off of her uh, LFD's got that reputation sometimes for the double Lajero. That thing will blow your mind. So Now let's flip over and, and talk a little bit about the bourbon. So the Volstead Act of 1920, which initiated prohibition in the U.S., granted permits to six distilleries in Kentucky to continue to bottle bourbon for medicinal purposes. Through one of these permits, Old Forester continued to be produced as a medicinal whiskey in Louisville, uh, on Louisville's famed Whiskey Row, I'm sorry. It's the only bourbon continuously sold um, by the same company that's been available for sale before, during and after prohibition. During the time all whiskeys had to be bottled at 100 proof, with a barrel entry proof of 100, the Angel Share would have created 115 proof whiskey after maturation to pay homage to this era. Old Forester rep uh, to pay homage to this area, Old Forester presents 1920 prohibition style bourbon 
at 115 proof to represent the rich full flavor profile this bourbon has ha, this bourbon has had for nearly 100 years you know it, it talks a lot here's those unicorn farts when it talks about the aroma of a drippy caramel dark chocolate thickened maple I don't get that there is a little cherry I get and some spice with some oak and that's about it I don't get the drippy dark caramel thick maple syrup on all that so let's take a quick taste see how this bad boy plays out it's a beautiful color really I don't know if you can see that real well but really beautiful dark copper kind of color Wow, is that sweet. I like this better than 1910. Oh. Now, I definitely get cedar and that caramel is there. It's almost like a caramel syrup now. And kind of an apple, kind of an apple kind of finish. Wow, that was good. Old Forester 1920 Prohibition style may have just found my favorite bourbon on sip one but i've got to come back to it i can't get all giddy about it right off the rip but i just did so let me get into this cigar a little bit more let me get into this bourbon a little bit more let's come back and talk about both we're going to sit here and relax enjoy a saturday night and uh, you hear the thunder in the background i think it's going around us it's the reason we didn't go camping this weekend it's supposed to be 80 percent rain there's that thunder, if you can hear it. It's supposed to be 80% rain and it didn't rain. It's making some loud thunder boomers, but um, it's supposed to go around us and it says 0% chance now. So of course we'll probably get douched at this point. But anyhow, we'll be right back folks. Um, let you know how this, this cigar transitions and, and how the, the whiskey transitions as well. Hey everybody. If you can see the venue changed. Started to sprinkle, didn't want to risk it probably fine out there but didn't want to risk it not when enjoying uh, this dram here with this cigar here uh, just want to enjoy the evening so into the first third of the Andalusian bowl smooth 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 not this is not as full-bodied I thought this was gonna be like I said earlier it's like a mind bender kind of just blow your head off LFDs, knowing for some of those, the, the double Ligero will put you to sleep. Uh, I, I'm not not even gonna attempt something like that. But this is not. This is really smooth, medium body. The wrapper is just silk. It's that nice reddish brown Ecuadorian um, Corojo wrapper. I can't pronounce that right. Corojo. I can't trill my R's. Corojo wrapper. Um, fantastic. Really, really creamy. Really creamy. Um, and in the mouth feels creamy. It leaves almost a texture. Like if you were drinking a cup of coffee with cream. Now I don't get the coffee taste, but if you drink a cup of coffee with cream, you know how that cream leaves kind of a film or a texture in your mouth? That's what this does. Really creamy. You can taste the cream little bit of caramel and just a little bit of sweetness and I can't really put my finger on you know I'm, I'm not the most world's refined palate so I don't know if it's a chocolatey kind of deal I'm getting but it's definitely not definitely not anything bitter it's really smooth burning really well it's got a little wobble that's probably for me lighting it uh, candidly little bit of pepper on the retro not pepper that's going to blow your nostrils out really nice nice like a nice really smooth reddish kind of pepper like you just sprinkle it on you know just enough pepper to know it's there but not enough pepper if you put it on your eggs or whatever you're eating not enough pepper to really say oh that's pepper so this is not a pepper bomb by any stretch of the imagination just really good I'm really impressed in the first third so we'll see it now I've heard it doesn't transition much that what you get is what you get throughout the whole stick and that's okay 
because I'm finding it to be a very, very enjoyable steak. There's that caramel. Caramel cream. Flavorful. Really flavorful. So, and I think I picked a winner pairing it with this bad boy here. This old Forester 1920. Because this is a little bit, this 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 bourbon is, is the 115. It's a little bit more strong as far as punchy. But it's not punchy. That's what I, well, let me explain. Super sweet, super sweet, with a nice apple finish, almost a cherryish apple kind of deal going on, really sweet, super smooth, there is no burn at all with, with this bourbon, at all, and this is Buck, I tried it and said this is fantastic, so I guess we'll be going to get a couple more bottles because she's not the biggest bourbon drinker in the world, in fact, I don't think any bourbons that she's really liked, she's liked a few scotches but not, not any bourbons. And this one, she really, really, I mean, she took a second sip. That's a, that's, that's a big, um, it's a big compliment to a bourbon. Mrs. Buckeye goes for a second sip. So she did. Really flavorful, complements each other really well because you get the fruitiness and the sweetness out of the whiskey and that creamy caramel. It's just mixing, doing its thing. It's really good. I didn't intentionally, I just grabbed these two because these were my two new purchases today. Let me check back in on the second, third, let you know if anything's changing, transitioning. Cool smoke, the draw is good. Uh, so far, very impressed. The band is phenomenal. That is just one killer band. Um, really like that. So we'll be back in the second, third. And, and See if anything's changing or if it's just, just, just a good, good smooth stick. Be back, folks. So, hey, everybody. Into the second third now. Flavor's been pretty consistent. That is the trademark of what I've heard about this stick is it's consistent. Not a lot of flavor changes. Still getting that really creamy, creamy, super creamy flavor a little bit of sweetness like a caramel kind of sweetness you can hear the rain in the background now i pick up a little bit of tea on a retro hail now Just a little bit of tea with a little bit of pepper and uh good it's a good stick a little bit of pepper and spice yeah zero percent chance of rain and there you go uh, we didn't go camping this weekend because it was supposed to be an 80% chance of rain. It didn't rain hardly last night or at all today during the day when it was supposed to. And they said 0% chance tonight. That's why the video started outside. You hear that in the background. It is pouring right now. So we can't listen to the weather in North Carolina. But Andalusian Bull, second, third, good. Still really good. Uh, the old Forester 1920. I'm ready to anoint this right now my favorite bourbon, without question. Um, now, I'm not, I'm not the dude that's had every bourbon under the sun. You know, I haven't had the old Forester birthday bourbon. Haven't had any of the Pappies. I haven't had any of the Wellers. You know, so maybe there's something out there that'll knock my socks off. But right now, for what I can get for my money, this old Forester 1920 is the best bourbon in my opinion going right now 115 proof there is no burn it is the smoothest sweetest most flavorful bourbon i've had and man is it good that apple finish that i'm getting is just phenomenal Almost like when you bite into one of those tart, tart sweet honey crisp apple. That's that's what it is. Honey crisp apple. That tart sweetness that just blows you away, that like the honey crisp does. That is old Forester 1920 in my opinion. Um, the ash held on about two inches on this. 
good construction. That wrapper's silky smooth. Really enjoying it. So I'll come back in the final third, give you my final thoughts, give you my rating on it. Very good stick. But the bourbon and the battle of these two, if they were in a fist fight, and you can't really battle these because they're two different entities, right? It's bourbon and it's a cigar. It's two totally different things. But the bourbon, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Old Forester 19, uh, 1920. Prohibition style right there. You can find that. And uh, I, I would recommend you try it if you're a bourbon lover. Be back, folks. And uh, we'll t tell you about the final third, the finish of this. Not much transition. It's been the same flavor throughout. It's been a very consistent stick. We'll be back. Hey, everybody. Final third. Good stick. Really good cigar. So, two hour smoke, and I still have some left. So I'll probably probably be ending it here before too awful long, because two hours for me is about enough. But man, was this a good stick. Uh, consistent the whole way through, a little bit of sweet caramel, just a little. Toward the end, it did pick up intensity, did pick up flavor and strength, uh, strength especially, um, as, as it got to the final third. So, you know, uh, still creamy, getting a little bit more peppery, almost a spice now. I don't know if it's kind of a baking spice, just a nice spice spice. And uh, good cigar. So all in all, you know, if I give you my rating on an Andalusian Bull, let me pull up my handy dandy cigar scanner app that I always use so my final rating the draw was a five fantastic uh, appearance was a five the the wrapper is just gorgeous silky smooth reddish brown that that Ecuadorian Corojo wrapper the band is badass on it really cool the burn was a four it wasn't razor sharp 100% perfect um, it, was, it was really good though uh, aroma was a five. This smelled really good. Yeah, you know, a lot of cigars I don't pick up a lot of the aromas. I'm smoking it. Don't don't know if that's because I'm smoking it or whatever. But this smelled fantastic the whole way, and the taste was a four. So all in all, I was at four and a half out of five stars on the Andalusian Bull. So definitely in my top ten. Don't know exactly where I would put it in my top ten, but uh, it's not the best cigar I've ever had. I think right now for my money still. The uh, the Arturo Fuente Anejo with some with that one I had with a couple years on it was 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 phenomenal. The other day, uh, this is really good. So, if you could find the Andalusian Bull, worth it. Um, they'll go for fifteen to twenty or up, depending on where you get it and who you're getting it from, because they're hard to get. People snatch them up as soon as they find them, so they are tough to find. Um, finishing up the old Forester. This will sneak up on you. That 115 is no joke. Um, still really good flavor on, on this. Uh, the finish is where it's at with this. Honey crisp apple. That tart sweet. Mm. So Old Forester 1920, I am double thumbs up. Probably my favorite bourbon right now. And I haven't had everything. You know, I haven't had any of the Pappies, the Wellers, like I said before. The Birthday Old Forester, I haven't had that. So, uh, But right now, for what I've had, I've had my fair share. This Old Forester 1920 is probably, probably my favorite. So there you have it, Andalusian Bull. Four and a half out of five stars. Great cigar. And the Old Forester 1920 double thumbs up for me that'd be a five out of five stars the taste the flavor the aroma or the color uh it's just a really 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 good burger uh, be careful with it that 115 smooth as the day is long and uh as this is starting to fade on me a little bit I'm about to put it down but uh man i'm i'm tickled pink with both of these both these so get yourself uh, Andalusian Bull from LFD get yourself some old Forester 1920 and uh, let me know what you think would love to hear your thoughts drop it down below deck and uh, share share what you think 
have you had one uh was it was you know because everybody's palate's different everybody likes different stuff that's why they make different stuff otherwise they make one cigar and one bourbon we'd all love it but uh, they make different stuff because we're all different we taste different things but really happy with both so you folks be be well take care of yourselves stay safe out there wash your hands uh, pay it forward when you can we'll catch you next time thanks for watching the video appreciate y'all take care of yourselves we'll see you